Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Open Vibe. I am your host, Demika Eugene, and I am welcoming a very special guest, Miss Dawn Halfkenny, an actress, model, talk show host, and just a phenomenal woman. So if you join us, we're going to go on this journey of her acting career, which is going very well. And I'm very proud and I'm grateful that she took out this time. So, Miss Dawn, Miss Dawn, tell us about for having me. I appreciate you for reaching out. Yes, ma'am. And I appreciate you for accepting. I, I know you're very busy right now. Um, so tell us about who you are. What is your brand? Oh, my brand. Uh, you know, I come from a very uh, religious background, you know, I'm from West Virginia. Uh, well, I was born in West Virginia, but I represent Texas all day, long, hard, all day. I'm from Killeen, so till, till this yes. so I'm from Killeen, I've always lived here in Georgia for a little over 10 years, you know, to pursue my acting career. But um, yeah, so I just try to be as a real, a realist, as real as I am, and just mm -hmm. It's myself, you know, that's the only thing I can do is just be myself. That's all you can do. So when is your birthday, Dawn? My birthday is September 20th. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, I'm a Leo. I'm a Leo, but I'm fun, exciting. You know, I'm that sign that um, all signs, I get along with the whole spectrum. So I love that about where I fall in the calendar. Right. <laughs> Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, all right. So tell us a little bit about uh, your transition from West Virginia to Central Texas, Colleen. Uh, yes. Uh, well, you know, I actually was born in West Virginia, just as I said, um, born in West Virginia. Um, but I went to my mother and I, we picked up and went to Colleen, Texas when I was probably like three or four years old. And so I was there all the way up until maybe a little over 10 years ago. So my whole life is basically Colleen. Um, yeah. So, you know, uh, again, I come from a somewhat religious background, you know, my grandfather, my great grandfather, he owned multiple churches and, okay. you know, so on Sundays we went to church <laughs> on Tuesdays, it was Bible study on Wednesdays. It was choir rehearsals on Fridays. It was, wow. so we stayed in the church, you know, when I was in West Virginia, I will go back, um, probably every other year or so, you know, cause my grandmother and, you know, her relatives and, you know, well, my relatives there still live there. So, okay. um, yeah. Um, and then, like I said, from Texas, it was all, the re my whole life, you know, nice. from school to everything, you know, that's <laughs> my entire life is clean. Nice. Nice. So, um, high school. Yes. What high school? I went to Ellison. Ellison High School. Shout out to Ellison Eagles. Yes, yeah, Eagles. I'm a, I, I'm a Eagle. Yep. Yes. Nice. Nice. Yes. So, how many siblings do you have? Well, that's a, you know you're the first person who asked me that, and um, wow. I was raised from my mother who was a single parent. Um, okay. Yeah, so I was raised an only child. However, mm -hmm. uh, maybe five, four, four, oh no, about three or four years ago, I found my biological father and I have a brother mm -hmm. and a sister. So, oh, wow. yeah, so that, yeah, so that was, um, it's, it's a crazy story. I, I'm actually writing um, a book about it. You know, my mother, she passed four years ago okay. of breast cancer. Okay. And so oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, it's, it's been a journey, but I know she's proud of me. I know she's still with me. And so I'm doing yeah. the best. And I know she, you know, she told me before she passed anyway. So we had a long conversation. So I'm, I'm, I'm living through life, you know. Nice. Um, nice. Yeah. So that's a part of my, um, my book that I'm talking about. And I cannot wait to share it with everyone. I love it. I, um, so where you are now and um coming from where you've been here in Colleen to Atlanta. Yeah. Um what advice now in retrospect would you give your 18 year old self? I am <laughs> I've always been I, when I was 18 I was a very shy person. I was okay. very very shy. Um I knew that I wanted to be in the entertainment business, but I I really wanted to dance. So a lot of people don't really know that. So that that's when you see some. No, of the I know that. I see that. <laughs> that's when you see some of the dancing videos on my Instagram. Oh, I was a background. I was a background dancer. No, okay. um, 
<laughs> but yeah, I, you know, I, just talk, I would tell my 18 year old self, you know, just continue to live life, continue to love. And um, I'm thankful that I am. I'm thankful to know that I'm headed on the down the right path. So yes. Yes, yeah. you definitely are. It shows in everything that you do. It shows in your smile, your Ooh. gracefulness. Yes, the way that you carry yourself, it shows that you have a heart of love. So that it's a beautiful thing to do, to see. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, what inspires you? To be honest with you, um, I have a lovely foundation. You know, again, yeah. you know, my grandmother, you know, my mother, my mother, she was a, ph a phenomenal woman, you know, mm -hmm. she installed love in me at a very young age. And it's so, and she was, she was also, also the type of mother who was very, um, who also said, you know, you're beautiful, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. She encouraged me. She was my, she motivated me yeah. and she built, um, she installed a lot of confidence. Mm -hmm. And so, I, you know, and I feel like that's something that I, you know, from a young age into the woman I am now, I feel like that's so important because I see so many people who lack confidence. Yeah. And I'm like, no, and I feel like that starts when you were, you know, when you're a baby, you know, or you're, you're smaller, you're younger. And I'm just mm -hmm. so thankful that, you know, my foundation, you know, um, I surround myself with positive, inspirational, um, uplifting people, individuals, mm -hmm. you know, my friends um, have been my friends for like 10 years or more. Who mm -hmm. we're here in Georgia. I have friends and um, Colleen as well. But yeah, nothing but positive people around me. I, I protect my peace and my energy by all means. By all means. You have to. Because, I mean, it's crucial to, you know, your daily development, your psyche is, yeah. is crucial. Um, so mm -hmm. when did you fall in love with Jesus? I, I fell in love. I was, like I said, I was raised in church. Mm -hmm. I was raised in church from from a baby. Like I said, my grandfather, my great grandfather, he owned three. So <laughs> yeah. he lived in church. You yeah. Know? And um, you know, the way that we were raised, uh, I was uh raised in a Pentecostal church. Okay. And so mm -hmm. it was very, very religious. <laughs> you, I, know, you know, I understand that's the thing. I was birthed into a Pentecostal church, so I understand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. So then, you know, um, my upbringing from my grandmother and her siblings, um, mm -hmm. you know, my great aunts and uncles, they were deacons and um, ministers and, and pastors and preachers, you know, of the church. Yeah. So my grandmother will always say, you know, I was basically um, can't act up in church, you know, because they're watching you, you know, yeah. always when you you know, make sure you're presentable before you leave the house because people are always watching you. So mm -hmm. it was something always like that. Like I said, it started from yay high and, you know, my foundation is everything to me. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So you went to California. Yes. How long did you go? To, how long were you in California? Um, I'll go back to, I'm by coastal. So okay. I live in Atlanta, but I work in Atlanta as well as uh, LA. Okay. So I'm back and forth from LA to Atlanta all the time. Okay. Uh, this year I was supposed to be, I was supposed to go back to LA in June, but of course, because of the Corona, um, mm -hmm. the schedule has been pushed back a little bit. I will be going there because I booked another project and I cannot wait to share with everyone. Um, <laughs> that's going to be fun. Okay. <laughs> and definitely a different dawn that everyone is used to seeing. Okay. So, I'm excited about that, but um, I love LA. I, I love the weather. I love the people there. You know, it's a totally different energy for mm -hmm. me. It's like they have a hustle that is nonstop. Yes, it's unmatched. It really is. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You were there too, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I love it. Oh, well, I went for. I went for IMTA um, and I was in, that was a week of competitions. It was phenomenal. I learned a lot. I gained a lot. I, you know, I came back. I was like, oh yeah, I'm ready to audition. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, but, it's, you know, I love LA, you know, I love the film. I love going out there for the film festivals. You know, yeah. there's so many different film festivals that's out there. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like a totally different vibe than it from is. being in Atlanta. And, you know, especially when I've been in Atlanta, like I said, a little over like like 12 years and then go to L.A. when I'm a fresh face and it's yes. like um, fresh, you know, new friends and everything. I love it. I love wow. L.A. 
That is yeah. exciting. I can't wait for you yeah. to be able to share the new project with us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay, so acting. When did you decide acting is for me? This is it. Mm-hmm. Well, I came from, uh, when I first moved here, I was in corporate America. Uh, well, mm-hmm. excuse me, I wasn't in corporate. Well, you, I was in corporate, yeah, I was in the corporate world. Okay. So it was a totally different uh, change of career for me. I just knew that I was like, this is not what I want to do at yeah. all. I cannot sit, you know, to to each his own, to those who do it. But for me, it was not for me. I could, I was late to work every day. I just didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I would go to lunch and I'd be gone for longer than an hour. <laughs> <I'm too laughs> I just knew, I was like, oh, like, I was literally just there for the check. And I said, this is not how I want to live my life. And it's, and it's, you know, it's a blessing because I know what I'm, what I'm doing in my life and I love what I do, but I, I'm still uh, friends with some of those who, uh, who work in corporate America at the job and they're still there. And I'm like, how are y'all doing it? And, you know, they tell me that, yeah, they tell me all the time. They're like, you know, we, we see you guys, you're doing what you love and you know, we admire you. And I'm like, I don't see how y'all do it. Cause I was like, Oh no, this is not me. Let me get out of here. But, you sound um, like me. Cause I think I sent you an email. Like, how do you know when? Yes. <laughs> and, and I walked yes. away. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, to be, and I remember that conversation, you know, that's just something I prayed hard on it. And, it, mm-hmm. and being an entrepreneur, it, there's no nine to five. You know, it's, mm-hmm. there's no mm-hmm. eight to five. You know, there's yeah. no eight to five. There's, there's no weekends off. There's mm-hmm. nonstop grind. Like, yeah. All the time. You always have to uh, think about ways to reinvent yourself or to brand yeah. yourself. And, you know, mm-hmm. different ways to stay um, relevant, basically. But it's 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 a beautiful thing that I love. Like I said, I'm doing what I'm, what I'm able to do, and I love it. But back to acting. So, <laughs> okay. I was in corporate America, and I was watching the news. And I said, okay, you know what? Like I said, by that time I was over corporate America and I I just wanted to do something else. But the news was having an open casting call for a soap opera show. Okay. So I said, okay, I'm going to go and see what happens. Let me try. Yeah. So I had a headshot with me. Didn't have any, no kind of resume because I never acted before. Mm -hmm. Um, Got there to the audition. The line was wrapped around the building like I was in line for American Idol. I could not, I was like, what am I doing here? And then I was peeking at some of the resumes. The girls' resumes were long. And I was like, oh my gosh. But I said, mm-hmm. you know what? I'm here. I might as well stay. Let's just see what happens. Um, I auditioned. I made it to the next round that evening. So I'm saying, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. continued to make it to the next round, the next cuts. And then I made it to the final, final 10. Out of 10 wow. girls, they picked one person. I was not that person, but to mm-hmm. know that I made it that far and that was my very first time. Yes. I was thinking, I said, that's when I knew that I wanted to act. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a beautiful yeah. story. It's like, I, I can mm-hmm. get through all of this, then this is definitely yeah. for me. It's one of those things where you know what's for you is definitely mm-hmm. for you. What God has for you. Yes. Wow. That what a true. beautiful story. That is yeah. true. So after that, you decided. What what was the next move? So uh, for me, the next move was um, I don't like to say quit my job, but uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I said okay, I would never forget. Like it was within a within a week or so, and my boss wow. asked me. He was like, "Are you sure?" I said, "Absolutely!" Like you don't wow. have to think. I'm not coming back. So yeah. um, I turned my resignation, and then um, so then after that. Like I told you, you know, I, I didn't think like, okay, I no longer have health insurance. I no longer have a 401k. I no longer have this. So I'm thinking to myself, what am I going to do now? But yeah. that's when the hustle started. That's when the grinding started. So, yeah. you know, I went Google different um, different websites to uh, place like a little resume or my headshot to see like who was having extras or who needed extras um, in the city. And uh, during that time, it, it, the film industry wasn't as popular as it is now here in Atlanta. It was more mm-hmm. music. So okay. There's little things going on like uh, like uh, student films or, you know, small commercials. But, you know, I still submitted myself. Yes. And, um, yeah, finally I had the opportunity and I submitted myself for um, to be an extra in Tyler Perry. 
uh, nice. high, uh, oh, House of Pain. Okay. So I supposed to be an extra for that. So I was an extra, and then the casting director asked me if I was, uh, the extras casting director asked me if I would be a stand-in. So nice. I was like, absolutely. I had no <laughs> idea what that meant, but I knew I wanted to be on set. I knew I wanted to learn, and I knew yes. I wanted to take the next step in my career. So after that, you know, I just kept going. Wow. I, yeah. I love it. And I, I love, you know, I was even looking at regentrification today and I said, oh, wow. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I, was, I said, this might have to be my favorite. <laughs> oh, my leg is, my, my ankle twisted, but he gets there. You're like, I think it's dislocated. <laughs> I said, uh, your ankle. <laughs> Hilarious. It's yes. priceless. It's priceless. That was on uh Amazon Prime. So yes, that was yes. a, a fun Definitely. project. And, and he um I think the lead in that, um, he's doing great things now as well. So yes, um, um Ron Riley, yeah. He's doing yes. really yes. great things. Yeah. He's doing great yeah. things. So um who have you met that you've been like Oh my God, you know, like this is unbelievable. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really look at people and like, oh my god, oh my god, like yeah, this is you know, if I meet Obama, then of course I, you know the Obamas, I'll be like that, but everyone else is more like I see their grind too. Like everyone in the industry is grinding, like yeah. no one really knows, like, okay, everyone's grinding for the next job. For the next, yeah. You know? knows like no one's you know everyone's trying to figure out what's next mm -hmm. and so for me I think um it's more so of um I met I was doing it I was standing in on what is the project called oh let's stay together which was on okay. BET or mm -hmm. BET it was um it was like maybe my second stand-in job mm -hmm. and I met uh Kyla Pratt I met uh Ron Rico Lee Mm -hmm. I met uh, and Keys, and when I tell you that, and it was, uh, you know, the whole cast, you know, was phenomenal to, you know, to nice. work with as well as, you know, to learn from and study, you know, mm -hmm. but the, those three stood out because they were just so cool, so down to earth, and sometimes you have in your mind, like, oh, certain people will yeah. act a certain way. But those three, I still have all of their phone numbers. You know, I can right. call them up you know, if I have a question. Beautiful. Of course, I don't bother them if I don't need to. But, you know, yeah. but, you know, Christian and I, we are both on uh, Saints and Sinners together. And, yes. you know, just seeing the three of them and knowing their journey and their career. And, mm -hmm. you know, me still up and coming or me still on my journey. I, I can reach out to them and ask them any questions, you know, about the industry or, you know, if I have a question about any auditions. And they're, like they're like book they're so welcoming but so cool nice. so, well yeah. i have certain people on my list like if i ever meet them and, and these are and people look at me like and i and i'm like i have to meet them before that day you know and my my people are lionel richie <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Janet Jackson it, and okay. and really, and like you said the Obamas that's the, the gist of it so I think those are the people I would be like is this really happening you know what I mean yeah yeah For me, so I, I don't I get starstruck it. easily me either yeah so that's why I'm just like you know I feel like everyone is basically we're all humans we all put our pants on the same you know uh, we all pay bills but the Obamas, I heard that they party. And so I tweeted, I said, I'm still looking forward to an Obama party. I do not care. I'm putting that in the universe. I don't care. Yes. 15 years from now, I'm going to an Obama party. It's going to be their anniversary yeah. party. Watch. You get, you're going to go. go. I'm going to party. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my life. <laughs> uh, you should, as you should. Um, so... On your journey of acting, um, how do you decide, okay, this is a role that I want to take or this is a role that I don't want to take? Um, for me, you know, now I feel like, um, okay, because before it was like really just trying to get my name. And I'm still, I'm still feel like I'm still trying mm -hmm. to get myself out there. You know, some people know me, but not everyone knows me, uh, yes. knows my work. And mm -hmm. so I feel like now I have enough uh, projects 
under my belt to where people are saying, oh, okay, yes. well, that's Don. We we know who she is. Okay, we know mm -hmm. what she can bring to the table. And so now is really the turning point. It was like, okay, so certain time, certain projects, I'm like, okay, I'll read a script. And mm -hmm. um, if it has, for me, if it has too much cursing in it, um, it's not for me. And it's just because I know I have family members, you know, who yes. are watching my, my projects and, you know, who are rooting for me. And um, I'm not saying that I'm perfect or anything like that. No, I mean, I just, fair enough. But, yeah, just, just saying that, you know, I, I want to continue to uh, make my family proud. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I did an interview on a television show, uh, <laughs> on a television show, and they asked me about nudity. And I said, well, for me, you know, I, me personally, I, I don't feel like I would do nudity because I have nieces and nephews. And yeah. also, if you look at the internet, the internet keeps everything. everything. We don't know how long, you know, it's going <laughs> to, you know, and, and <laughs> see me. And I just don't want, you know, my nieces and nephews to grow up. 15 years from now and, and then say, okay, well, auntie, back in 2020, you were naked and, you know, so I just, it's just certain things I look at. And I, just, I just feel like I have morals and like, you to each his own, you know, for, for those who do. But for me, I just, I'm very um, cautious about what I choose to do. I, I totally understand because I have daughters and, you know, I yes. have five of them. So mm -hmm. they, oh for, Girl, yeah. You like good, yes, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you know, they're um and they remind me, I mom, I heard back in the day you were, you know, so they they remind me yeah. and they remember and remember those things and those conversations and things like that. So you have to be very discreet and morally sound when you choose to put that out there. So I commend right. you for that. That's major. Thank you. Thank you. Um so when you do select your role, um, is there any time there's like apprehension or a little bit of fear creep in? And how do you handle that? Anytime I, anytime I book a role, the first thing I do, and I, this is the honest to God truth, I cry like a five-year-old and I just praise God and I just thank God because I'm like, it is, I know that he's probably like, okay, like, all right now, Don. Okay, this is what you do. But I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. But it's just for me, it's just like, I feel like there's so, I, I'm very aware that there's so much talent, mm -hmm. um, as well as there's so many actresses. And, you know, uh, I know that there's so many different people who bring so many different things to the table. And there's also, politics and everything and mm -hmm. you know for myself to be chosen in um a project i just like i'm i'm grateful for that i'm forever mm -hmm. grateful for that so that's the first thing that i do of anything yeah. um and then you know i just you know i just go in and i break down the script mm -hmm. and just see you know um uh, okay so okay so cause a lot of times in the audition we don't get the scripts we mm -hmm. usually get a, a few pages yes and so I like to say, okay, so in my mind, once I'm going through the script, I'm like, okay, this is what I wear, or this is how my hair is going to be, or this is what I, how I need to act, or, you know, this is what's going on. I just like, like to make myself aware of the character. Nice. And just, just trying to find different ways I can bring the character to life. Okay, so give me one technique that you do bring. How do you bring her to life? Uh, to be honest with you, most of the time, any audition or, you know, when I'm breaking down the side, as soon as I start reading the character, I already have in mind someone who I know uh, or someone <laughs> whose personality who is just like the character. Yeah. And it doesn't mean that this person, I'm close with this person or someone who I've come in contact with. And mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, you know what? This person acts just like this character. So, boom, I know exactly what I need to do. Yeah. So that's exactly how I that's exactly how I go through it. And it's so funny. My aunt called me the other day and she said, um, I just went back and I was watching Saints and Sinners and you know, Angela, she is crazy. I said, I'm so glad you said that because when I thought of Angela, I thought of you and you are crazy. She was like, what? I was joking with her though. But that's yeah. good stuff. Like I put a little of you into Angela. <laughs> that's good. That's exactly though. What I I break I break the characters down and you know um I just yeah I, I break Angela it down knows all the tea she knows 
<laughs> everything. <laughs> she knows it all, honey. She knows it all. I love it. I love it. So what is uh, your favorite movie of all time? Um, you know, I, I love the old school movies. Like my favorite movie, to be honest with you, is Goonies. Oh, I love Goonies. <laughs> yes. That's like, it's like adventure, like it's kids, they're having fun. You know, they're trying to figure out how they can, where to get the um, gold. And, you know, yes. it's, like, it's fun stuff like that. But I mean, I have, I love Christmas movies. I love yes. um, Home Alone. Mm -hmm. That's another mm -hmm. one of my favorite movies. Um, I watch a lot of, people say I'm crazy, but I'm like, this. that's not the case. I watch a lot of uh, First 48. No, I that's, mean, that's not a movie. But I'm like, they give so much information. And then sometimes, you know, the investigators are able to find out who are the murderers. And sometimes they don't. And I'm, mm -hmm. like, this, I'm like, this is a great show. <laughs> it is a good show. It really is. That was my next question. What's your my favorite series? So First 48. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my favorite series, have you gotten a chance to watch during this quarantine lockdown, um, was the miniseries called uh, Little Fires Everywhere. I did. I loved it. That I was so good. Yes, it was. And I, I see the, um, I believe the, was it the writer she recently, or was it the director that recently passed away? So I, I hated to hear that. Yeah, she. Yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah. I was. It was sad to hear that, but uh, I know everyone. Everyone was so proud of her because I saw my social yeah. media where everyone was saying how much um, she was such a lovable person. Wow. And so, heart and prayers go out to her and the yes, family and loved ones. Yes, because that that definitely it was good. I I was every week I was glued, and I'm also watching um for life, so that's pretty I, good. I'm into the for life as well. I'm into for life as well. Yes. So, so many people come to me and they're like, he sounds just like Denzel. I'm like, get past that part. Like, he's a great actor. He's a great actor. He really he's a great is. great actor. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. people are like, oh, he just sounds just like Denzel. I'm like, no, you know, some people just aren't able to, you know, take the way that the way he sounds. But he's overall, he's he's amazing. The whole cast is. They the are. Is they are. He's so genius. He is. And, you know, I finished the um book the other day. And I was in awe. I was inspired through the entire journey of the book. I mean, him breaking down, you know, this mm -hmm. piece of entitlement and just how to hustle, who, you mm -hmm. know, how to keep your circle small. And it was, yes. it was nice. Yes. Very nice. Good. So I feel inspired. I'm like, oh, I could do a takeover right now. <laughs> yeah. And there's been yeah. things during this quarantine. How have you handled that? Being in quarantine wanting to kind of break free because you know as a creator as a, you know you have that mm -hmm. gift how have you managed quarantine um quarantine for me um to be honest with you you know as we mentioned this show um earlier you know road to hollywood that's something that i started and i love it it's with myself and uh, my co-host uh Tabari. Yeah. i love um, that I love doing the shows. Um, we've been getting so much feedback and so much, so much, so much positive feedback from so many people. Um, and then, you know, once the, you know, once the Corona hit, I asked Tabari, I called Tabari. I was like, well, you know, it's just you and I, let's just continue. Cause Tabari was like, no, stay at home. Can't wait to see. <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah. But, um, I get it also because, you know, he has so many family family members because um, mm -hmm. he's from up north. So mm -hmm. he has so many family members um, and friends who caught the corona and a few who passed. And so, so what part of north? Is he from Detroit? No, he's from uh, Jersey, but he has friends in Jersey. Oh. Has friends yeah. in Florida, he has friends in um, New York, you know, okay. all, all of that. So he, okay. he's really, he really hit him. And um, I told him I understood. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I completely, yeah, I told him I completely understood, you know, whenever we need to come back and, you know, we're, we're thinking of other ideas to make the show better, to continue to have um, people watch. And um, so that's, you know, that's where we've been with the show. But as far as myself um, during this quarantine, just my, to be honest with you, at first I was like, oh, okay, I'm cool because, you know, I'm just staying, you know, just audition but then the audition started to slow they down so then stopped. i'm like okay yeah they stopped completely i mean they're starting to pick back up for me um yes but 
I, I just really had to find a way to just keep myself busy with some things. Like um, I mentioned, I'm, I'm in the process of moving. So mm -hmm. I'm like, that took up a lot of time. So I've slowly packed things and I was able to purge so much. Uh, when my mom passed, I didn't want to let go. And I just kept the storage. Mm -hmm. And so I went to that storage and I was like, oh, I'm wow. not leaving. I held on to so much because it was the smallest things that it's like everything reminded me of her. Yes. And I, and I felt like, okay, if I was purging something, I feel like it was a piece of her that I was losing. But I realized four years later, I was like, that's junk. Throw it away. Throw it away. Yeah. So um, through, you know, purging and cleaning and mm -hmm. have that help you heal some things as well? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Like I said, the thing about it, I know that my mother's still with me. I know that she's very proud of me. And, and I know she's in heaven. I know she's bragging, <laughs> bragging about everything. You know, and, and so I, I'm very, yeah, my, my mom is cool. And, you know, the purge is cool. And, yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So I thank you for sharing that. Okay. I saw you uh, do a, some TikToks too, huh? <laughs> I've been extra, it's been serious. And nice. uh, I think because, you know, I would kind of work out here and there, but I also said, okay, you know, now is a perfect time to really still get some fresh air. But mm -hmm. what I do is I wake up early in the morning. I'll go um, hiking and oh. I know where everyone's, no one's, yeah, I'll go either hiking or I'll go work out. Like um, I go to Stone Mountain or something like that. And I run around Stone Mountain and, you know, it just keeps my mind clear. Nice. So um, nice. that's been very, very refreshing for me too. Wow. So yeah. as an actress, would you say uh, to the industry, you are, and I got this out of Taraji's book, uh, a jagged edge or a smooth line? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I feel like, the, you know, I'm just a, what you see is what you get. I'm a smooth line. A smooth, smooth line. line. Okay, I, I just wanted to make sure you didn't say a smooth line. I was about to say, no, 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 a smooth <laughs> line. You know, she, line. she considers herself as a jagged edge in the oh, acting okay. industry. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, you know, that's something to consider. Like, what? where do I fall? Who am I in this? Mm -hmm. Nice. I think. You know, I think Taraji is so far in her career that she's able to make a lot of uh, calls. Yes. Um, whatever she needs, you know, I, I feel like she's able to get a lot of things done. Um, mm -hmm. However, I feel like as a um, African American actress, I feel like she, um, it, just in general, uh, there's still a fight, you know. Oh, definitely, so, definitely. But she, she has, she has a, a bigger voice. Yes. Where she's at in her career. So that's probably why she considered herself a jagged edge. I mean, I'm not sure I haven't read her book, but <laughs> that's probably part of the reason. But yeah, so yeah, so for me, I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. and it's still, um, it's still a, a process for me. So, uh, I'm, you know, for me, I like to just do what I have to do, get mm -hmm. things done. Um, I'm very quiet on set for the most part. I say good morning, everyone. And, you mm -hmm. know, I make sure I'm focused and I know my line. So nice, nice. So I've noticed along your journey, your hair is always beautiful. I mean, it it stands out. Who is? Who does your hair? <laughs> I have two styles. Right now, it's a matted mess. <laughs> no, it's beautiful still. We can't see that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I have two stylists. Uh, one has, it, it depends because they both work on set. They're both celebrity stylists. Okay. Um, one, he has been with me since I first moved here, and his name is Al Kasim Watson. He okay. has his own salon. And then, um, as well as uh, Elijah Cohen. Okay. Uh, they both, so it depends on who's not on set during the time that I call to do my hair. Fair yeah, enough. Just, Fair enough. Well, they do a phenomenal job. Who did that ponytail and what do you mean want? Because that ponytail was... Honey, I had to do that. <laughs> you did that. It was beautiful. I, I, thank you. I had to do that because, you know, I have a lot of hair and it's very, very thick. And yes. for people who aren't used to my texture or my length, Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like they're like, whoa, this is a lot. And it's, hey, we got like 15, 20 minutes to get her together. And then this is not going to take 15, 20 minutes. So for myself, you know, the, the hairstylist, he was very sweet. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure everyone else's hair turned out right. But he kept 
doing this <laughs> and I said it's, it's all my hair and he was like oh really and I was like yeah <laughs> So he put the he he put a ponytail in and it was just a loose ponytail. And I said, I can't. No. I can't. So <laughs> I went next. I went, I went to a wardrobe. I said, I need a brush and I need some um some rubber bands. I said, please, somebody, I can do my own hair. So I just went to the corner and I did my own hair. But yeah. Well, that was a nice sleek ponytail. You did a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so for new actresses, um, are there any techniques? like you use specifically to learn your lines? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I would honestly tell up and coming or new actors and mm -hmm. actresses, uh, definitely take classes. I've learned so much by taking a class. I learned mm -hmm. so much. Be I feel like now um, a lot of actors, they just feel like, oh, I'm too good to be an extra. No, I learned so much from being an extra. I learned set etiquette from being a stand-in. Mm -hmm. um, like it's a it's a crawl before you walk type yeah. of industry. It's, it's it's not a sprint. It's you know mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a marathon. You know, mm -hmm. and I feel like so many people feel like oh well I had um, I had someone contact me and in, on Instagram and they were like hey I'm interested in acting. And I was like okay well here's uh, the person you can take acting classes here. Um, I try to give as much information as I can to those who are outside of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just do your research as far mm -hmm. as, you know, finding out who are the um, coaches in your area um, and just network as well. Yes. But yes. I had someone contact me and he said, hey, um, I'm interested in acting, you know, and I gave him some information and, and then also casting directors, extra casting directors. He was like, I don't do extra work. And I said, <laughs> OK. So I said, well, what's your IMDb? He said, I don't know what that is. You need to go do some extra work. You need to do extra work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need to do some. Extra work. So, I, I look at um Classes as it's, it's going to be an ongoing thing, like having a coach all the time. It to me, because I know even some of the greatest actors have coaches mm -hmm. still, and they have them with absolutely. them. With that. Yes, yeah, Abs absolutely. If there's ever if there's ever a role that I book that I feel like okay, I need to tap into something, and I need to figure out how to do that in a mm -hmm. quick manner. I'll, yes. I'll call someone, or sometimes yes. even auditions. You know, I'll call because sometimes the way we see things and the way we read things, mm -hmm. two minds are better than one. Because I could, I could read it one way, and then, for instance, you could have the script. And you could be like, "Oh, well, Don, what about this?" And I'm like, "I didn't even think of that." Yes. You know. Yes. And so it's good to work one on one with a coach, or you know, even to be in a class, so you can see how others work as well. Mm -hmm. And um, classes are so important. Classes, mm -hmm. classes, classes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and during this time, I think it's, um, I, I love the way that a lot of different companies have it set up. They have the online, you can take mm -hmm. classes, different coaches are assisting you. So that's been a beautiful thing as well. Yeah, it was definitely beautiful, especially at the beginning of so many people are doing it for free. You know, a lot of people are doing free classes. So because yeah. people are trying to figure out, okay, well, what are we going to do next? So how about this? We're just going to do a free class. So I tuned into a lot of people's um, Instagram stories. And, um, you know, I learned a lot from that. And yeah, so just you really just got to stay on top of, you know, uh, your career. Because mm -hmm. I feel like what you put into your career is exactly how it's going to turn out. Yes, mm -hmm. you're, you're correct. So, who's your celebrity crush? I, <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have a celebrity crush. I you love know, it. It's so, it's so funny because uh, I believe in season. Oh God, season three of Saints and Sinners. Uh -huh. I had um, a, a little scene with Christian Keys, and so uh -huh. after that, I had. So many females contact me, girl. How was Christian Keys? Oh, how was it like kissing? Chris? I'm like, I've known Christian for so long. He's like my big brother. So yeah, so it's, it got weird. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it wasn't. It wasn't Don kissing Christian. It was mm. Angela and Levi. So I'm like, yeah. what? I don't. I don't know what y'all mean by that. But I love it. You're able to actually step outside of yourself and separate the two, and and that's. You know, my husband, he's getting, he's like, oh, this is getting real. You can't do any kissing. You can't. <laughs> like, so, yeah. um, you know, when it was just a, a thought or even 
prior to the you really gonna pursue this, it was like, oh, it depends on what it pays. You can you can yeah, as long as it pays well, you can go do whatever. But then when it became real, he said, Oh no. <laughs> so that that's yeah. been really interesting. It, you know, yeah, it's it's fun, you know. I um I was dating someone and I had a few scenes before mm -hmm. and I, I didn't mention it. I was like, I just wait till he see it. Oh. You know? And, and he was like, You didn't tell me about that. And I was like, Oh, that's nobody but Christian Keys, you know. Was, it's well, acting. Okay, no. Yeah, it's just acting, you know, it's just acting. So it's funny. Yeah. So so you you're not dating now at all. Or are no. you? No. no. You're 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 grinding. <laughs> I gotta stay focused, you know. Yeah. I have to stay focused because um I love hard and right now I just love my career harder. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So you're dating your career. <laughs> Absolutely. That's 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 second after you know praising God, then it's my career. That's it. So, have you ever um, considered doing a biopic? And yes, I, would, I, would love, I would love to do a biopic. I was actually talking to a friend of mine um, about doing one, and um, we were talking about uh, a biopic for the group In Vogue. Oh, nice! And I, I said, that. like, I said that would be so nice. Well, I mean. It's, it's a group, but I would still like to know their 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 backstory, you know. Yeah. Um, and and I'm like, just just anybody who I would find, you know, just some, someone with a, a good story, and you know, who has a, a lot that people really don't know, mm -hmm. you know, the backstory of it. Like, I'm not sure if you saw the Clark sisters. Yes. Did, were you able to see the Clark sisters? That like, I would have loved to have booked that. I'm sure I wouldn't have been. <laughs> I don't think I fit any of the characters. But I didn't know, you know, I didn't know their story. And my grandmother mm -hmm. raised me on, you know, the Clock Sisters music. So I mm -hmm. thought that was so awesome when it came on TV. You know, I called her. I was like, Grandma, you got to turn the TV on. I was like, do you yeah. know what's up? And so I enjoyed that. But, you know, someone someone with a really, really good story, you know, it, mm -hmm. it, you know, it doesn't have to be anyone specific. Um, just someone, like, like I said, with a really good story yeah yeah, yeah. nice nice um i'm thinking it, uh, someone came to mind but it went away so I'll, I'll come back to that um so when you're choosing a role do you think like finances matter the most or is it based upon the role more for me it's the role more okay and the reason being is because I feel like um, I feel like I want so many different people to see me in different roles at all the all the time. So mm -hmm. you see an Angela, you see a um, you seen Angela, you see a, um, Agent Cooper from Be from Tales on BET, you mm -hmm. see um, <clears throat> Nia from Atlanta. You know, you see Kim in the Have and the Have Not. So it's different characters. And I just always want to be able to breathe life into some, into a different character too, where people are like, okay, you know what? She was a, she can she can act. I want people to see my range. Yes, yes. That's that's the most most important to anything because once people see your range, then that's when you build the respect that okay, you can really act. Act. Nice. You nice. Know? So can you sing? About the money. <clears throat> can you sing? I'm sorry. Girl, I sing in a shower. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's a genuine concern for a lot of people because, like, for me personally, I cannot sing. And I cannot either. Okay. <laughs> I, I said that was one talent. I feel like God was like, no, no, don't give her that. Don't give her I, that talent. I would be like, I would feel like I'm Beyonce and just be singing all around the house and be singing all the time and then singing when I'm doing just talking. Yeah, that's, that's not for, that's not for me. Mm -mm. Me either. So please, I, I hope nobody ever asks me to sing. <laughs> um, and um, tell us some fun facts about Dawn. Fun facts about Dawn, you know, uh, I get asked a lot about Angela and they're like, oh, do you relate to Angela a lot? I'm like, I'm way more bubbly than Angela is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Way more bubbly. Um, uh, I'm a lover. 
I love, you know, I'm a lover. Um, I'm a, I'm a giver. Um, I love to bowl. I love to hike. You know, I'm, um, I'm spontaneous. I'm, I'm the friend who will say, what y'all doing this weekend? Let's go to Mexico. My friends are like, girl, what? Like we got jobs. <laughs> we have jobs and we got this to do. We got the kids, you know, and I'm like, I oh, yeah, I keep so yeah. Um, I, I love, I love things. Like I just love to live life. Yes. And I and I realized I got that from my mother because my mother was the type of person to just pick up and go, and she mm-hmm. loved it. She loved her life, and she, or she made the most of her life. Nice, you know, in a situation to where you know, even if it was a, I feel like what may have been a bad situation, she would take that situation, she would turn it into something positive, turn it into something fun. So mm-hmm. that's I picked that up from my mom. Nice, mm-hmm. nice. So what was the um your favorite place to visit? I, you know, I can't say that because I haven't been everywhere yet. Okay. Okay. I haven't been everywhere, but as of right now, um, I'm a, I love the beach. I love the islands. Mm-hmm. I love Bahamas. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I've been to Mexico. Um, you know, I, I love the water. So okay. Anything. Like, I don't even know how to swim, but. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the cruise? I'm, have you been on a cruise? I have. I've been on a cruise. And when I tell you the first, my first time being on a cruise, I walked around and I was like, I need to make sure I have this life vest at, with me at all times. They laugh, but yeah. On the cruise I love ship. the water. <laughs> I love, yes. Yes. On the cruise ship. On the cruise ship. Yes. Yes. That is priceless. Mm-hmm. Um, so your favorite character that you play thus far is who? Um, I would say all of them. All of them. Uh, not, not necessarily one have been my favorite. All of them have been something different. Um, Angela, of course, she's been the <laughs> she's the sassy one. She's the she's the sassy. She's you know she crosses her teeth. She dots her eyes. You know, it was, mm-hmm. I'm thankful that the writers uh, took Angela. You know, you were able to see a backstory from her coming off the streets to being a church secretary. But yes. then she's still grimy in the sense as far as, you know, making sure that the money is all in place. And, you know, mm-hmm. she has some ways about her. Yeah. Um, Agent Cooper, you know, because I, I was really excited about that character because I was like, yes, it's a character to where I can pull all my hair back. If, you mm-hmm. know, because people always say hair, hair, they think of hair, they see hair. <laughs> and so I pull my hair back into a ponytail and to a bun. Mm-hmm. And, um, so fun working, you know, with Mr. Uh, Steve Harris and, you know, gosh, Nia, Nia was so much fun working with uh, Mr. Glover. He was <laughs> so amazing and he was really, really nice. And nice. Um, yeah, so every character is, has their own reasons. He's like, okay, well, this has been fun because of this, or this has been mm-hmm. fun because of this. So, oh, yeah. wow. Nice. So I saw you went blonde. <laughs> How was that? Oh, are you talking about one of my wigs? One yeah. of the wigs? Okay. <laughs> well, how did you put all that hair? And and I yeah. now I'm a hairstylist and I cannot figure out how did you put mm-hmm. all that hair? So I have to give again a major shout out to Mr. Elijah. <laughs> he's he's one of my best friends. And of course he's my hairstylist, one of my hairstylists. And we were thinking of actually where it started from, um, we got invited to the um the trumpet awards mm-hmm. and so you know every time i do an event or i have a red carpet event or something elijah does my hair and we feel like at this time we tried all styles of my hair so he was mm-hmm. like let's do something different you know let's throw a blonde wig on and so i was like yes let's do it you know let's let's try something different we went to the awards and when i tell you none of the cast knew who i was they were walking <laughs> right by me and then i was like hey y'all they were like and then they were like, okay, first they didn't recognize me. And then they're like, girl, we're in the middle of filming. You cut your hair and you colored it. And I'm like, no, it's a wig. <laughs> so he had all this hair very well. Like he is wow. a beast. Yeah, he it was, was so beautiful. Nice. I mean, I, you rock blonde yeah. very well. Yes, it works Thank for you. you. <laughs> Thank you. So, and yeah, so now I'm like, okay, I want a blonde wig. I want a black wig. I want a, a red wig. You know, we try different things all the time, different colors. Wow. So um, I know I have a lot of questions. <laughs> Let's uh, what is your biggest pet peeve? You know, my biggest pet peeve, I feel like um, I, I don't, 
I don't like liars. And I think for me, it's like, I tell the truth. I'm a yeah. truthful person. And um, I feel like that, um, you know, if I don't have your loyalty, then, you know, then and if you if you feel like you have to lie to me, especially with like everyone is grown at this point in time. I yeah. feel like everyone should be, I feel like I got that from being in Texas, you know, being in Texas, <laughs> you know, I kept it real at all times. I tell yeah, everyone yeah. I'm like, man, people are like the breed is different in Texas. This is a different mm -hmm. breed in Texas. Yeah. But um I just feel like, you know, that's one of my pet peeves. And then for for people who say they're gonna do something and then they don't follow through. Yes. Yeah. I just feel like if I can't do something, I'm like, I'm not even going to say I'm going to do it. Or, you know, I follow up and say, okay, you know what? Well, if I can't do this, then how about we do this? Let me try to find out, a, try to figure out a way to make things right. But for people who just don't care, just people try to take advantage. I just, I just really have no respect for people like that. Fair enough. Fair enough. So um, why did you choose film over theater? Um, theater for me, it takes up too much time. Okay. Um, I did a, a play back in 2011 here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2011 here. It's when I first started acting with um, Mr. Dorsey Levins. He mm -hmm. is a, a, a former uh, Green Bay, uh, what, uh, Green Bay, you know, football player who was really, really good. But, um, he did a play based on like football players and, you know, them getting uh, concussion uh, concussions and, um, you know, just taking the, the little story about the lives and stuff of like some of what from him himself and from some of his friends that they went through. Mm -hmm. And um, this took up so much time, mm -hmm. you know, cause you got to do a play, you got to study all the lines, you yeah. have to, um, make sure all the lines are perfect and then you have to make sure you know your lines for the next person to come because there's no there's no cut mm -hmm. you just have to keep going yeah and keep going. so yeah the, the way my mind works i just <laughs> i can't sit still long and in 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 rehearsal and then i'm like oh my gosh you gotta continue to rehearse but i did tell myself that i would love to do a traveling play at least once mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. least once I'll probably just do a child in place at least once. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. So tell us one huge thing that's on your bucket list. Uh, continue to travel. Continue. I love traveling. Yes. Are you a foodie? Um, oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, so I like to try everything at least once, but I'm not an Italian lover. Like I, I don't like um, Alfredo's and sauces like that for some reason. I'm weird, but I don't, I don't like mm -hmm. that. But anything else I would try at least once. And if I don't like it, then I'm like, okay, I don't like it. But I am a foodie. I've tried every restaurant out here in Atlanta. I've wow. been to them all. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Atlanta has restaurants. I, I keep a notepad of restaurants in different states. I think Atlanta has most of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So are you affiliated with any charities or what's the charity of choice? Um, actually, I'm not affiliated with any charities. However, um, you know, if any charities or if, if anyone reached out to me and asked me to do, um, like, I've been asked a couple of times to do stuff for um, for uh, less fortunate or for, you know, people in shelters or for kids. And, you know, I love doing stuff like that. You know, yeah. I, I enjoy you know, yeah, I love spending time with those who are less fortunate or, you know, because I, I look at people and I'm like, you know, you never know that that could be my family member or that could be someone who I know. And, you know, you just want to make sure. my my mother always taught me, you know, treat the janitor the same way you would treat the president. Well, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> but treat, but it. treat everyone the same. And so I'm a, um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm very big on that. So nice. Yeah. That's beautiful. Um, yeah. so what, uh, what do you have to look forward to next this year coming up after the pandemic or I have, coming? I have three <laughs> projects that I have coming up and, and I'm so excited. And I, I just got off a call yesterday with my management team and I'm like, man, I just hope everything falls into place place perfectly because all three projects are going to be a great look and everyone's going to be like okay literally 
Don has been a different character in all three projects. And uh, two of them were supposed to be filmed before the uh, before Corona hit. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, now it's like, now that everything is picking back up, I hope that nothing overlaps or I hope that I'm still able to do our projects because I'm excited about all of them. Excellent. Well, I'm going to believe God that you definitely will be able to do that and so much more. Um, I saw that, um, I heard Tiffany Haddish say she's trying to do 50 films by 50. Do you have any goals like that? <laughs> I, continue, I, I continue to, you know, I continue to love my career and, and, and at my own pace. Yeah. And, you know, be thankful for my journey. I don't want to rush anything. I don't want to um, do anything that, you know, I at my own pace. At your at pace, own, definitely. At definitely. my own pace and just make sure that I enjoy, uh, continue to enjoy the journey. That, yeah. That's most important. And continue to protect my peace. That's most important for me. That is definitely key. So overall, what would you say the essence of Dawn is? <sighs> the essence of me. Just being a beautiful person. You know, just being a beautiful person. Just continue to you know, having a good heart and then, uh, you know, just sharing as much knowledge, which I feel like is so important and, mm -hmm. and, um, uh, just, yeah, just, just being a good person. I feel like that's what it all boils down to, you know, it, it doesn't especially in this world today, because there's so much going on. And mm -hmm. I feel like if I'm positive to, the next person, then that yeah. person can say, oh, you know what? She was so good. She was so sweet. I'm gonna pass on this blessing to the next person. I feel like that is such a positive, it's, it's gotta be positive at yeah. all times. So I try to be inspiring. I try to be uplifting and I try to motivate as much as possible. I love it. I love it. So with that being said, because that's that's definitely the key to me to life and you know, having mm -hmm. really loving people as you wanna be loved. Yes. Um, yes. what would you leave people with about any message about what you want to see in the next year? What would you leave them with? Uh, well, for one, to stay safe. Yeah. You know, no one knows what tomorrow is going to be like. Mm -hmm. Um, continue to love one another, uh, keep your family safe, um, take care of yourself. Uh, stay healthy, you know, for me, you know, I've changed my eating. I mm -hmm. juice more nice. and yeah. So I feel like this pandemic has shown me so much. Um, I worked out, but I work out more. I, I take care of my body more and, you know, I'm, I'm healthier yeah. and I feel yeah. like I'm starting to glow. You know, <laughs> you are glowing. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> thank you. But it's like, no, just take care of yourself. Just continue to love one another and take care of each other. Nice. That's, that's, yeah. I absolutely love it. It has so been my pleasure. I, I appreciate your time because time is a valuable commodity. It really is. Thank you. Thank yes, you so much. I don't take it lightly. And I hope to have you back many more times. <laughs> Absolutely. As soon as these projects land, I'm going to say, okay, Jamika, let's talk about this. Because remember, I wasn't able to talk about them, but now they're yes. and they're completed. So let's go. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. I'm excited. I'm excited for your journey. I wish you nothing but peace and blessings. And I am your number one fan. So oh, thank you. I, I am. I always root you on. And I'm like, you know, and, I, and, and I'll tell you this when I knew. I said, um, there's Dawn. You were on the game. I said, there's Dawn. And my mom said, who? Like, how do you know her? I'm like, I just do. Because <laughs> so I just think it's a beautiful journey you're on. You're going to have many, many, many projects, huge projects. So enjoy it all. You deserve it. I appreciate it. And congratulations on your show as well. Keep well, doing it. Thank Keep you. Doing thank it. you. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Yes, right. ma'am. Yes. You be blessed. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.